Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Just a couple days ago, I did a video using these Aguila mini shells. They're one and three quarter inch. The, these that I have is seven and a half shot. So, and we did that video strictly with two semi-auto shotguns. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And in the comments, there were all kinds of, I'll, I'll just say crazy comments. So. There are a lot of people saying that they love it. There are a lot of people saying that, oh, that stuff's garbage. So I just wanted to be really clear and do another quick video with my experience and my view on the stuff. But you guys know me, I'm just a regular old dude. I don't get paid to say anything. I thoroughly enjoy guns. I never dog any companies or anything, but I just give you straight up the facts. So these didn't work in the semi-autos. I knew they wouldn't they're not made to do that but I have had experience shooting these before in pump guns specifically in the shock waves you guys know the little shock wave shotguns just have a little grip on them I've shot these a lot out of a shock wave and didn't have a single issue I put some footage right here of me actually shooting these quite a bit out of a shock wave shotgun out of a 12 gauge and I'm here to tell you right now that was an absolute blast. Probably some of the most fun I've ever had shooting a shotgun. So I'm gonna put that footage in here. Got it. Yeah. Here you go. All right. I don't own a shockwave. I wish I did. Maybe sometime soon I can get one. But to be 100% honest, these mini shells, I think if you're going to use them, here's my opinion. Take it or leave it. Use them in a shockwave. Perfect for home defense. Put it behind your pickup seat. Put slugs, birdshot, buckshot. I don't care what you put in it. But perfect home defense, self defense put them in a shockwave. I know that the shockwave works because I shot a ton, like I said, and I showed you in that footage. In my mind, this is what these are perfect for. Option number two, what they're good for, hey, if your wife or your kid wants to shoot shotguns with you, these absolutely have less recoil than a full 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch or three inch shell. So somebody small who's afraid of 12 gauge and that's all you got, shoot these or like I said perfect for home defense in a shockwave or similar shotgun you get more shots but what I have never done is run them in a regular size pump shotgun and literally the only pump shotgun I have at the house is this Weatherby PA08 I love 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 the shotgun this one was given to me by my dad Believe it or not, he said, if you get your master's degree, I'll buy you whatever gun you want. And this is the gun that I picked. Love the shotgun. It's a very nice shotgun. But like I said, literally the only pump gun that I have. And just to do like a, a control group, what have you, I'm going to load some regular size shells in this thing. Honestly, haven't shot this in a while. These are seven and a half shot. So same as what these mini shells are. I'm gonna load this thing up. I think it holds four plus one, if I'm not mistaken. Like I said, it's been a while. And I'm gonna shoot these, and then we're gonna shoot the mini shells out of this and see if they'll cycle. But like I said, I know that the mini shells cycle in the shock wave. I showed you guys that, but I've never tried to shoot the mini shells in a full size shotgun. So here's my pump gun. And we're just gonna shoot this with the full size shells. Make sure that it's working here. I haven't shot it in a while. Hey, 
kicks more than I remember. I short shuck two of them. Like I said, I haven't shot a full size pumpkin in a while, but you saw there that it works and it holds four plus one. I put all these shot shells up here. I didn't have my ears on either. This louder than I remembered and also kicked harder than I remembered. But so it holds five of those. I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the tube here. And then let's see how many mini shells this Weatherby will hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Might get one more. Eight. So if I counted right, that's eight in the tube and one in the chamber. So full size, two and three quarters, it can hold five. And this sucker will hold nine. So four extra shots. Now the next question is, will it cycle them? I don't know. It'll obviously shoot the one that's in the chamber, but I'll we'll see what happens. I'll try to hold this where you can see. So first off, definitely much less recoil so it ejected that one but look at what it did there it kind of turned it sideways in there you can see the top of it's pointing straight up now when I go to close this it's just kind of sandwich that shell in there you can see so let me go ahead and straighten that one out let's fire it and try it again Ejected that one. That one didn't flip up, so let's see what happens when we try to load it in. So that one loaded. Ejected one. This one loaded straight too. And that one took me two tries, but it still went in. Oh wait, maybe it didn't. No, it didn't go in. It actually just stayed down in the little tray there whoops that time I made it double feed so let's take that one out and that one's laying down in there flat let's see what happens when I try to close it well kind of got slammed into the bottom of the barrel there and didn't go all the way up let's... so so far we got did we get one to feed there I think we did Try another one that one jumped up straight out like it should and same thing right towards the end the little carrier goes down at the very end and doesn't put it up so like a full-size shell at that point would already be in the barrel and when that lever drops it's fine because the shells already up in the barrel and stays in there but these with this weatherby that little carrier drops down and lets the shell jam into there so let me let me see if maybe if i just do it real fast if it won't have that problem i really don't know but let's try it again real fast well that one shoot it flipped up again there i've got it laying down let me see if i just try to load it real fast up oh, same thing it's hitting the barrel right there so, with this Weatherby, it's a no-go. In this Weatherby, it would not load those mini shells simply because, like I said, just before the shell's about to load, that little whatever you want to call it shelf drops back down and doesn't let the shell start to feed up where a, a normal size shell would already be going up into the barrel. But like I said, I do have some experience shooting these mini shells in a 12 gauge pump with the shock waves and it worked very, very well and I actually had a blast with them. So really the answer is it works in some pumps and in some pumps it just doesn't the way that they're made. This weather be the only pump that I have on hand it didn't work actually it worked for one but i couldn't get it to work for the rest but then again 
it worked great for me with the shockwave. I need to pick up a shockwave, and I'm sure it works in quite a few other pump shotguns too. I tell you what we'll do. I've got some business down with heavy metal. Next time I go down there, we'll take some of these down there, put it in a whole bunch of 12 gauges. Obviously, he has more than one at the gun store. See if it works for what all he's got. I think that'd be a pretty cool video. Either put it on this channel or put it on his channel too. But thanks for watching the videos, guys. Let me know your experience with the mini shells. I get a kick out of them. Absolutely love shooting them, especially out of the shockwave. That was a blast. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo.